What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sierra and in today's video I'm giving you guys an updated house tour. We have been in our house going on seven months. Obviously our house has been in the background of lots of my videos and you've probably seen things as I've gone through our house just filming and things like that in the background but I wanted to dedicate this video specifically to showing all of our updates, all the things that we have for decor and all that good stuff while it's still clean. Of course our house is lived in. There's still stuff everywhere but this is pretty much as good as it's gonna get so let's just get right on into the video so this is our side door this is what we typically come in our door has this little like thing this blinds thing so you can see out if you want to but you can also close it if needed and then when you walk in this door the first thing you see is this cute little thing that my cousin made us she gave it to us for our bridal shower and things like that and we literally just keep all the dog stuff on here because we don't have anywhere else to put it it's just easy because this is the door that we take them out of so it's easy to just get everything ready right here here with all their stuff here. I also just hung this little thing up today just kind of fill the space nothing super fancy but it just kind of fills the space when you first walk in. Then down here as you can see Axel has chewed this up that he did that when he was like a new puppy so can't be too mad about it and it's behind the door most of the time so you don't really even see it. And then we have this mat where we take our shoes off our boots things like that and then we have our trash can right here. I need to take this out for recycling but this is the trash can and then this is the view you get when you first First walk in our house it is our kitchen so we have our stove here and I just got these cute little towels today at Marshall's they just say bless our home they're super festive super cute and yeah so this is our stove and then we have our favorite thing that we could ever have gotten as a gift it which is our air fryer we also have this cute little cutting board it's just for decor I need to find somewhere to hang it so we have these two things just sitting on the counter or the blender and the air fryer I also just made tea I'm waiting on it to cool down a little before I put it in the fridge but the next thing that you see on our counter is this little utensil set this was also a gift and a knife set also a gift we just have some random garlic just chilling on the counter because we use garlic for basically everything and then obviously paper towels right next to the sink I've been cleaning all day so my Bissell like rolly thing is just kind of sitting there drying and I've done a lot of dishes today so this is kind of the setup of our kitchen we don't have like a ton of counter space um, but if you notice the cabinet are much different than they were before before they were a very like tan color and this up here did not look like that my mom actually bless her heart took all these doors off took them home sanded them painted them and brought them back for us and then this is just basically like stick on wallpaper but it's not exactly wallpaper um so this is one of the major updates and probably one of my favorite I really love how it's like the two different tones it just really makes it a lot more homey and not so old and outdated looking another Another thing that I think I have mentioned in another video is she put in this sticky paper on the shelves as well so these again were just this like wood color but then she took the shelves out and put this marble on it just to add a little bit more spunk and texture and cuteness and like I said not to look so outdated so I really love this part as well I'll be honest I wish our kitchen was a lot bigger but it will do for now but I do really really love how these turned out so then over here this is a whole disaster so please ignore that this is our water washer and dryer. Our washer is currently broken at the moment and I'm waiting on someone to come get it fixed this week but we just have like a bunch of random stuff up here. A lot of cleaning supplies, things like that. Then I also have my grocery shopping bags and then all this stuff right here needs to be cleaned but as I mentioned our washer is broken so I'm kind of waiting on that. And then over here next to the sink is the refrigerator. We've just got a bunch of like random stuff up here. Our calendar that you guys have seen me do in a couple videos and then just some stuff hanging up. Across from the fridge is actually Axel's food bowl and his little stand that my mom made because he is so tall it makes it easier for him to eat and then we have these little shelves I had a very cute vision for this and it just was not executed well these little signs I got were super cute but this is literally filled with dog treats this was also filled with dog treats as you can see it needs restock but we basically just keep our keys and more dog stuff on this so they were cute and I had a good vision but I just like did not take the time to execute it well also I didn't realize these are dirty please excuse this but I didn't realize how like shallow they were so a lot of stuff doesn't really fit. I had one of these that's 
bigger that was in that cabinet over there you probably saw but it hangs off and I was afraid like somebody would bump it or something and it would knock off and it wouldn't stay and it would break so this is just kind of what this has turned into nothing super fancy but I did have a good vision for it nonetheless then over here next to the fridge this is a thing that we bought from Ikea to put our microwave on because as you can tell there's not a lot of counter space for it so we put this together we put our microwave on it we've just got like a bunch of alcohol up here and just a bunch of random stuff this is our junk drawer everybody has one if you say you don't you're full of crap and we also got it for a little bit more storage keep the crock pot down here and just some random like bowls and things like that and then over here next to it is Hendrix's food bowl and water bowl again my mom made this little stand for him it makes it easier for them to eat because they're not so bent over and they really really enjoy it then over here is our kitchen table my mom and Jonathan put this together I did not film that just because it was a very long process and I really did love this idea and I love the table but I'll be honest it's not my favorite just because like it's very hard to clean um, you can see handprints and fingerprints on it a lot and it gets very very streaky so that's kind of irritating but other than that I do really love this table I like the way that it looks I like the farmhouse vibe the wood vibe and then we got these chairs from my mom Jonathan finally put them all together but my mom and dad had them from their house but they didn't fit then over here we have the pantry um, honestly, we don't really have a whole lot going on in here. It's kind of just a jumbled mess. Basically, most of it is dog food and just like random snacks. There's not really a whole lot in here, but that is our pantry. And then moving on over here is the kitchen. Obviously, this is the front door. This is where we let the dogs in and out. As you can see, it's completely and totally disgusting. Usually, we have a little mat right here, but since I was cleaning, it is outside and it is like drying off because I washed it. So the floor is a lot dirty because we have two dogs and I'm just lazy but we got this whole living room set on Facebook marketplace for $300 not including the lamps and like the end tables and stuff but this love seat couch and recliner were only $300 on Facebook marketplace super comfortable absolutely love this recliner perfect for our first time home we just have some random little coasters here and a candle and then dog brush and some shampoo for when they're coming inside and then these lamps my mom painted them black and I just got these lampshades I believe at Walmart I also hung up this clock recently we got this at our shower as well I have yet to put up the curtains I bought for this because truthfully there's just not enough light that comes in these windows to need curtains because we have a gigantic tree in the front yard that casts a lot of shade so that's why there's no curtains on it I just hung these up today my mom actually made these um, I saw them at Hobby Lobby but they were like 50 bucks so my mom just made them my plan for this I'm gonna get some canvases of me and Jonathan from our travels and things like that and put them in the middle here probably like two Two, maybe three I'm not sure yet haven't decided if I want to do two across or like a taller one I don't know but that's my plan for now we'll see how it works out um, and then over here we have the place cot for the dogs we have our TV hung up on the wall we did just have it sitting on this thing and the dogs knocked it off and broke it so we made sure to hang this up the cords kind of annoying that you can see it but whatever but we also got this TV stand on Facebook marketplace for like 20 bucks so I'll show you around this basically today I went shopping and I got this little pumpkin that's actually a candle so that's nifty and it smells freaking amazing so I got this little pumpkin and then this little thing of sunflowers I already had this little sign but I got this to be festive for the fall and things like that and then I also got this picture frame I put this picture of me and Jonathan in it and then I still had this left over and it basically looks like Jonathan is a rescue obviously this is meant for Hendrix but you know what I didn't have anywhere else to put it so that's where it's just staying and then on the bottom here just some random stuff that I already had so this picture of us I already had from college this we actually got from Jonathan's grandma's funeral and we kind of just wanted to keep it in memory of her the flowers are all a little bit dead now but we really like the lantern and you can't really see the flowers that great from far away so it doesn't matter too much that they're dead and then we have this basket right here it doesn't really match anything but it's the only thing that I had and the dog toys are in here usually it's a lot more full but they have managed to lose them all throughout the house and we also have this little lantern thing it's actually a like you can put wax in here and plug it in but the cord's super short so we just put it here and it has just pictures of us on it and then I also have this sign I also had this in college just to kind of fill the space so this is what our TV stand looks like I just redecorated it today so it looks much better than it did before we also have this rug as you can see it looks a lot dirtier in the video than it does in real life but I need to scrub this and clean it because just from it being such a light color and the dog coming in it's just so dirty especially over here 
here in this corner because that's where they like to lay the most. So I promise I'm not a disgusting human. I do clean this regularly. It's just stained from the mud and the dirt and everything like that. And then this is Axel's kennel. We just leave it here. It is a ruffling kennel. It's gigantic, I know, but he is a large dog. He's like 85 pounds now or getting pretty close to 85 pounds at least. So this is basically the only thing that he fits in, but this is his little home for when we are not here. Um, he loves his crate. He goes in there super willingly. And then over here, obviously this is the front door and I'm not going to go outside, but we got our fence put in. As you can see, that's where the dogs are right now because I've been cleaning all morning. There they are. They think they're coming in, but they are not. I'm so sorry. I'll come back for you later. Also painted our door. As you can see, did not finish because the paint that I had did not look super great and it's super dirty from before we had the screen door but you know what this is the joys of home ownership we also redid this floor I don't know if you guys have seen it in a video if I've talked about it but this used to be carpet it used to be brown carpet we took it up and Jonathan put this down but our floor underneath is a little bit uneven so it's not the greatest job it could definitely be worse but and as you can see like some of these little pieces are like cracked but usually like I said there's a rug right here so at least covers part of it and you know what we just don't care enough to pay someone to fix it right now because it's not causing us any problems so we're just gonna leave it like this for now and then coming back into the kitchen and going down the hallway this is our baby gate we put it up right here when we leave so that we can block Hendrix off to the kitchen and this little hallway we close all these doors so he doesn't eat anything we have our security system and our thermostat we also have our menu board above this light switch and then it goes into this little hall this is the carpet that was also in the living room that we took out we just kept it in all the bedrooms and in this hallway because we like having carpet in the bedrooms so over here to the left is a spare bedroom it's very small and we don't have a whole lot in it it's basically just like our junk room um these are some curtain rods this is what i got for the living room but have not put them up yet and then a shower curtain rod that i have not put up yet there's a lot of stuff in this house that we have to put up but we just don't use it and don't think about it so it doesn't really matter this is axel's two old crates that he doesn't really fit in anymore we're waiting to either sell them or give them to somebody and then all of Jonathan's weights right here. Some stuff to clean his car. I'm not really sure. Our Wi-Fi plugs in back there. Again, no curtains on this window because we're not in here enough. And then we just put our vacuum there because we don't have a lot of storage in this house at all, unfortunately. And then this thing usually sits in the middle of the room because it is a punching bag. So like when you hit it, it like this like bungees back and forth. Jonathan uses it to punch and stuff. Um, these are just his boxing mitt thing. Not mitts. I don't know what those are called. Basically, you hold them up and they, these get punched. His boxing gloves are over here. Anyways, this is a little picture that my mom got us. It's for Christmas, so it's just kind of sitting there. And then we have this closet. The doorknob is all kinds of messed up. This is literally just full of junk. Like, I don't even know what half of this stuff is. Just random, like, sheetrock, I think is what that's called. I could be wrong. From when we were remodeling. And then this is actually, just got these yesterday. These are our ring bear and flower girl outfits for our wedding. And then, again, just a bunch of random stuff that we don't use. Some fishing poles, like, literally just a junk closet there's not a light or anything in there that's where like stuff goes to die basically going across the hall from that room again Axel chewed this when he was a little puppy so just ignore it is our bathroom I just cleaned this today so yay me we put these new vanities in I think I've mentioned that before in a previous video we put these in so that they would be taller we would have more space of course I have my new fall scented hand soap from Bath and Body Works if you don't have it what are you doing Doing. and then just our toothbrush we also have a medicine cabinet over here we don't really keep medicine in it it's basically just like toiletries and stuff um and like my 7,000 pair of contacts because none of them are working with my eyeballs we were going to replace this mirror just because I don't love it but to be honest I don't care enough to change it so we're just gonna leave it um and then we also put this in I got this on Amazon um it was super cheap and it works just fine also just left these lights um we didn't we changed the light bulbs but not the actual fixture just because it was a lot of work. I hung this up with Jonathan's help. Actually, I think Jonathan did all of that. And then we put up this toilet paper holder um, and then our other fall scent for Febreze. Um, this curtain I've had since college. It was just easier. Ignore our disgusting 
shower. I recent, I literally just got this mat today. We had one that was like this seafoam green color, but it was just super dirty and it was just easier to buy a new one than to try to clean that one. So we did get a new one of this and then this floor is the same as when we bought the house. We are wanting to paint the walls. Um, we actually put like this seafoam green color on here. It's supposed to match obviously this curtain, but we just haven't gotten to it yet. Honestly, don't know if we will, but this is the bathroom that we use. This is technically like the guest bathroom and the hall bathroom, but this is our, the one that we use because the other shower is a little bit messed up and we just didn't care enough to fix it when this one worked perfectly fine. Coming out of the bathroom is our little hall closet. This is like the only thing of storage we have. As you can see, it's like packed to the brim. We just have a bunch of cleaning stuff, toilet paper, medicine, shampoo, all the things you could ever need. And then we keep our towels here and then our beach towels up here along with some more random stuff. It's just kind of a jumbled mess because every time I organize it, I just need to throw more stuff in it. So that's the hall closet. Then next is our bedroom. My bed is not made, so please just ignore that. Yeah, so this is our bedroom. When you come in, it's a little trash can and our dresser. Well, this is actually Jonathan's dresser and then one drawer is mine along with our TV. And this is all of Jonathan's stuff that I did not clean off. And then we have a closet here. Ignore the fact that there's no doorknob on it. It broke and we just haven't changed it yet. But this is Jonathan's closet. He doesn't really have a whole lot in here. And then we also keep our hamper for dirty clothes in here. Then I have this clock hung up and there's a chair here. Usually there's not this much crap in it, but there is for now. I've put these curtains up. They're like a yellowy gold color, but they you can pretty much just see through them. So it, when the sun shines through it, it looks really, really pretty. Um, and then over here, Jonathan has his jujitsu medals hanging up and then his deer. I would like to say that I lost this battle, but I really didn't because he wanted to put both of these in the living room and there just was no space. So I was like, what if we put them in the bedroom? Because it matches like the green and the wood and like the naturey woodsy vibes. So I did kind of win this, but also now I have two deer staring at me while I sleep. You be the judge of if I won that or not. I don't know. Have this little thing from Walmart as my nightstand because nightstands are outrageous and we just really don't have a lot of room to put a nightstand. So this holds a bunch of crap and it serves the purpose. Literally the only thing I put on here at night is my glasses and my phone. So it works just fine. Our other little dear friend. And then I got this at our wedding shower, hung this up along with my necklaces just right next to the bed. And then over here is my dresser. I need to get a mirror to put up here, but I can't find one that is tall enough. This is my dresser. Just have this cute little C that I had in college and then this book. I actually made this for Jonathan, but they sent it to me and they had some stuff messed up. So they sent me an extra and this is the messed up one. And then I have my essential oils, my laptop just set up right here. And then just like my random jewelry and things like that. Just chilling right there. And then over here is my work laptop. And then this is another hamper. We have like three, but this is strictly for my delicate clothes that need to be washed a certain way so that they don't get all mixed in with our regular like t-shirts and things like that. We also have this cute little thing that we got for our shower and our family friend actually made it. So these come up and they like store stuff. So we just have like blankets and sheets and things like that, which is really nice that it holds stuff because like I said before, we don't have a lot of storage. I've just lined up Jonathan's shoes right here just because the bottom of his closet has so much stuff in it from hampers and things like that. But this is our room. This is actually not supposed to be the master, but I believe that it is bigger even though it doesn't have the bathroom attached to it. So that's why we picked this bedroom instead of the one I'm about to show you just because this one did seem to be much bigger and we just liked it better. The last room in the house is this spare bedroom and it is a whole disaster. It's a lot better than it was if you can believe that. But you walk in, there's just a little trash can and a nightstand. Jonathan's other deer head, he tried to hang this up, but it just wasn't staying. So it's sitting here for now. Also, this bed is not made. He just has his guitars laid out and a bunch of clothes that he ended up not taking with him on his trip. So I wasn't going through all this. He can go through it when he gets home and then I'm gonna clean the sheets and everything because we actually have somebody come in next weekend to stay. Just a bunch of random pillows and stuff like that. And then everything under the bed is Jonathan's. It's like military stuff and sleeping bag and then just his guitar case and some book bags and random stuff. I think this is his bow. I know you probably can't really see it too well. But anyways, just a bunch of random stuff over here. This bed is a whole mess, but nobody sleeps here ever. So it really just kind of is where all our stuff goes to die again. And then over here, there is a dresser. Jonathan keeps some of his extra stuff in here. And then this drawer down here is like my camera gear and things like that. These are actually the curtains that I was going to put up in the living room. And I just never did because there was really no reason for blackout curtains in there, but I still have them just in case we ever want 
to use them in the future because I can't take them back. I also have my grandpa shirt pillow memorial thing sitting here just because I didn't really have anywhere else to put it. And this way it doesn't just kind of get lost in stuff. Also Jonathan's tool bag and hunting bag and some decorations I have not hung up just kind of came here and died because we don't have anywhere else to put it. We also have this comforter. I'm actually going to put this comforter on this bed because we took the comforter from this bed and put it on ours. So that's just sitting there until I change it. And then we have this cube organizer. Not very organized at all. Just a bunch of random stuff. This all came from my mom's house that I haven't went through yet. I don't even know what's in these. Again, just a bunch of random stuff. This is all dog stuff. And then these are obviously just empty. And again, random stuff here. This is a printer that I never use because I don't have paper for it. And then some more pictures and my diploma that I need to hang up. Over here, I just hung this mirror today. I didn't really have anywhere else to put it. So I just put it right next to the closet. Obviously, this is the closet. This is my closet that I use. All my shoes are hanging up on this door. And then all of my clothes here. If you remember before, there used to just be one um, like wire thing here and over there. And I had Jonathan add these because as you guys can tell, I have a crap ton of clothes. I also have more shoes down here. And then this little crate thing that just holds random stuff. And then my luggage and a cooler. Again, everything back here is just shoes. So that is my closet. And then the last thing is this disgusting guest bathroom. So please just ignore it. Um, like I said, no one ever stays here. It never ever gets used. We literally only use this to wash the dogs and sometimes I film right here. But we also replace this vanity in here. It matches the one in the bathroom that we use. Um, we do have stuff in here just in case people stay and then this medicine cabinet, but it's empty obviously. And then our shower, it's really dirty right now just because like I said, we don't use it and we were having some issues with our plumbing, but it's fixed now. So there is no shower curtain here because this shower head is actually a little bit messed up and we again just have not replaced it because like I said no one uses this shower they just use our other one if they do shower here for whatever reason but it's nice to have this extra bathroom if we need it which we haven't yet but as you can see it's very dirty I have not cleaned it because this is where my dad was in here working on the plumbing and stuff so this is the extra bathroom you've seen this a lot I record a lot in here when I'm like changing clothes and stuff but other than that this bathroom just does not get used except for as you can see to wash the dogs so that's gonna be it for this house tour that is our little first home together we have added a lot of things changed a lot of things and we still have a lot of stuff that we want to do to it but we just are at a point where we're not that concerned with it no one really comes here that often to even see it except for us and I honestly just don't feel like doing all the work so I'm going to go let the dogs back in so they can destroy my perfectly clean house and I will see you guys back here next week with another one